Okay. Okay. So everybody should get a drink. Like I said, it, this talk will be more entertaining. So there will be some technique, but very little. But so. Okay, let's get started. So good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Jason Dean, and uh, I'm a research scientist in Barcuda Networks. And today we're going to discuss some fake accounts and fake identities in uh, Facebook and uh, Twitter, and uh, and also the growing uh, business that's around these fake identities. Uh, I came to the network security world with a uh, background from data mining and machine learning, and uh, I obtained my uh, PhD degree in computer science uh, from Georgia State University, and uh, I joined Bakuda last year, and we know Bakuda is a uh, long going sponsorship for the B-sides, and we have, uh, we so a company so set firewalls, uh, web placing uh, firewalls, storage services, uh, message archives, and also like data, data storage and uh, this kind of thing. So we have 150 customers all over the world. So if you don't know about it, <laughs> so just did a little uh, advertisement, okay. But everybody know it, we have a, a carbonara in the pro area. You can get some free drinks, although it's too hot, <laughs> but check it out. So that's about me, my company. So let's focus on our talk today. So this is my outline. So but I will talk very briefly with why a fake identity, and then I will focus on three studies. Uh, first one is some real business about fake identity on Twitter. Uh, the second one is fake uh, Facebook profiles for spam purpose, and the third one is for also uh, for Facebook, it's called an adding game campaign. And finally give some spam uh, summary and also question at the same time, okay. So when we're doing fake identity, so everybody knows in your daily lives, if you have an ID, an anonymous ID, or a second ID, you can pretty much do everything without being caught, right? So everybody loves a second ID, right? Like a, being anonymous, like a, a fake ID. So on the social media platform, some people also favor fake account or fake ID. They can put a different kind of pictures, sexy pictures, and then send you spam, create a Rogus uh, apps on Facebook or Twitter. So here, uh, my uh, opinion is like the value of a fake social account is much more valuable than a traditional e spam email, right? For spam email, just send the email, and uh, that's it, right? It's the email either being clicked by the uh, recipient <laughs> or just ignored, go to a spam filter, that's it, right? But, but for fake social account, they have much longer lifespan. So before like a Facebook or Twitter identify them. So they can do, do a lot of stuff like collecting their relationship, they can spam people, they can target people, they can pretty much do a lot of stuff without being identified if they do it properly, right? So that's why I'm saying the value of a fixed social account is much more valuable. So people are trying, trying very hard to create fake identity on the social media platform. And another reason is that, uh, the exponential social network connections. So for email, you send to one, that's it. But for fake social uh, account, they can friend a lot of people and tagging them, and then their friends, those friends can see these tagging events. So it's like a rich, at least a two-level relationship, which will be much more, uh, like bring much more impact. So deliver much more impressions. So that's it. So we're going to focus on our uh, first study, uh, real business, kind of fake identity on Twitter. So occasionally when you browse the internet, so some people will say you can buy Twitter followers on the internet, right? When you do Google search, this is the results. You say buy Twitter followers, and uh, you can see many, many web websites are selling Twitter followers. So among the top 100 Google search for this uh, search term, there they are 58 websites are selling fake, uh, fake profiles, uh, followers. 58 is like more than half. Also, you also see sometimes see on eBay, some people selling Twitter followers and uh, selling tweets. 
So like uh, some people have a lot of uh, followers, <laughs> you're gonna pay like, let's say five bucks if you wanna promote on there uh, to these followers. So you're gonna contact that guy and give them five bucks and send them a tweet saying I'm gonna want to promote this website or something. And that guy gonna get the five bucks and send it to their followers. So this is like a service. So that's what we find, and we want to go deeper and say what's the business around it. Is it really popular? Is it really, uh, people can get a lot of money from it or not? So, and uh, first thing, like say, how much it costs to buy Twitter followers? So say at least I guess many uh, website and also some people on the uh, eBay. So basically, you get around, uh, this is not complete, so get around 10 or 20 bucks for a thousand followers, Twitter followers. So it's 10 or 20 bucks, a thousand followers. Pretty cheap, right? And the delivery date it varies, like maybe from one day to four days, or maybe uh, a week, up to a week, since uh, they don't do it like in one second or in one hour, since they can be identified. So they do it like granularly, with uh, like under the radar of Twitter. And uh, so you can buy followers, right? And there's another service like I mentioned, like you can sell tweets. If you have a lot of followers, you can just uh, you can make money out of it. So some people I know, some people uh, are very famous, they have like thousands or 20 thousands, 100 thousands followers. If you want to make money, it's very easy. So just sell tweets. For example, I have a list of few here. Uh, uh, Let's see the, the second one. It's a uh, eBay ID, and he's selling like a two point three, like two dollars per tweets. Since he have like uh, two hundred thirty thousand followers, so it's two bucks. That's very cheap. So if you have business to to promote, you probably you can try it, right? So now with this cost, we, you can buy followers also, some people selling trades. If you combine them together, there's business. It's a business for everyone. So assume like, so basically it's a, you can start with $30 for just everyone. So assume some guy, you can create a Twitter uh, account, right? It's very easy. You user, uh, Email, you can just create a Twitter account. And then, just invest like $30 to buy some followers from eBay or some websites, $30, okay? After you receive the followers, you get a lot of followers, you can just sell your tweets on eBay, right? You have some followers, and some people say you have a lot of followers, okay, let's make some business. Since you, you invest your $30, right? Can sell tweets on eBay like two dollar per tweet. Okay, so go ahead and sell it. Promote yourself, right? You're gonna attract some customer really want to promote their business, maybe individual business, maybe their company, whatever. And you can make a lot of money. Not a lot, but make some money, right? You get a lot of cash. Yes, you can keep doing that. We're just sitting on computer, it's, right? It's not like a lot of work. And then you can get a cash, you can do whatever, <laughs> and you can invest more. Right, you get more money, you can just continue buying more followers, since you have more followers, you can, you can sell much more money for per tweets. Right? So this loop is gonna keep going and going, you can just make a lot of money. And there's nothing product you need to make, that's it. You don't need to look like, into the uh, like maybe restaurant business, maybe some drink business, right? <laughs> okay, it's nothing at all. Just create a Twitter account. I can just make business. Thirty dollars to start, so everybody should try it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our serious business. So we want to go in deeper to say what happening and then how much people how much people can make money out of it. So we did some uh, experiments and to say how these fake followers, uh, what's the statistics of these fake followers, fake account, uh, what is, is there any particular feature, 
And uh, who will buy this? Who will buy this Twitter followers? How do you know? <laughs> so we created a three Twitter accounts, and uh, for each of them, we pay like thirty dollars or eighty dollars to buy like between twenty k to seventy k fake followers. And this is one example. Say so originally we have four thousand uh, followers as real, and later we end up with about twenty six thousand followers. And uh, you can see this. Is, uh, I got this picture from a Twitter counter. So they will track the number of followers for each account. And not continuously, they may at some point, so they will track it. So you'll see this curve is goes up uh, sharply, right? It just happened within between uh, May 14 to June 19. It's about like a month. So we did this experiment, uh, we were able to identify it. Uh, many fake followers. So the total number is 72 Sorens uh, fake account. And uh, we're saying they are fake because we put a thread hole, let's say, uh, the number of following for this fake account uh, divided by the number of followers, like people follow them back. It's bigger than 30. We put, like, for safe, uh, some safety, like, small, uh, like, uh, FP, like a false positive, so we will be very conservative, so at least 30, the ratio is 30. And you have uh, at least 300 following, so you follow a lot of people. That's uh, basically the, the feature of this fake uh, account. So we end up like a 72,000 72, fake accounts. And this is one example of the fake account, so it's pretty much kind of easy to tell. Yes, question? The yeah, it exactly. So you can see the, in this example, it does decay a little bit. Uh, yeah, slowly. It depends on how fast Twitter can identify them. And on the other hand, it depends on how what strategy you are using. If they are gradually uh, following some people, not very sharply, like steadily, it's hard to find. And they can grow, grow, uh, grab the Twitter stream to post on that account, so they will have some tweets. So it depends the quality of this fake quality. So that's why the the, uh, the price is varies. So it's like two dollars to buy a thousand followers. Those followers are really really bad. Like you can easily to tell. But if you spend like hundred dollars, well, it's hard to tell these followers are fake. So. So that's why uh, this example is quite easy for people to say. So on June 5th, oh, sorry. Uh, you're gonna say this uh, fake account following 500, around 577 followings. So following about 500 people. On the next day, it's following 668. So it's about like 100 people, uh, 100 more following. So that give us a hint that's probably on that day, like 100 people buying this account to follow them. So, and on June 11th, this account following 2001 for, uh, following, have 2001 followings, so it means about 2000. That also means, uh, actually it's steady there, it's just 2001, that's it. Maybe a few more and a few less, that's it. I will talk about this later, so it's kind of like a limitation for them to, uh, to be uh, discovered. So if it's still lower number, it's hard for Twitter to detect. So, so this particular account you're just giving them, they're like many followers? Yes. And, and so it's the first million that you've discovered in this period, like then in this case, there's going to be about 2,000 people that Right, that's, that's a decree. Yes. So that's right. If this can shut down, they have another like 19 thousand. So, yeah. so. And but, but the yes. Right. Exactly. So this you can see this graph. Uh, it's kind of static because uh, a tweet account on this website doesn't track this account uh, very often, just occasionally, maybe a few times. So that's why they, they are draw a line like that. But uh, basically, it tells you. Around May 23, that's 
maybe 200 following. But on July 11th, it reached like 2,000, that's it. So it's about seven weeks, the uh, graded from zero to 2,000. How about this one? The, that one is easy to say it's fake. How about this list? So they got uh, uh, profile images. They got a name. It's very uh, legit, right? But if you see the uh, statistics, like each of uh, how many followings of them, they almost like a 635. So basically, it's for like same number of followings. And also, how many people following them back? It's about 11 or 12. So they follow the same trend, like it's almost the same. So that's why I'm telling you this is this a kind of fake. They're created by uh, robots. And uh, this is a particular list that's falling somewhere else. It's not like a, a graphic from just uh, a, a random Twitter account. It's from particular followers list of someone. So it's a little bit hard to detect. Yes. Uh, that's a good question. Actually, right now, uh, uh, when I see, uh, watch this website, so far they don't do very granular uh, categories. So basically, they just they don't. They don't. I think the categories they made right now is like, a, are, you, are they from the U.S. or not? That's it, like international or U.S. So U.S. will cost more, but they don't like say, okay, I want all my followers being female, or they are aged between 19 to 35. No, not yet. But they can do that if you can create, you can control everything, right? Yeah. But uh, it's fake, anyway. So, <laughs> but I, I assume like uh, maybe some real uh, business you can do that. Like they have companies do constant uh, tweets. They have a lot of followings. They may occasionally sell their tweets to some people or sell, yeah, sell tweets. They may uh, their following maybe a particular have a particular interest, but. Uh, for selling fake followers, I, I, I didn't see any. Thank you. Yeah. OK, sure. So the, uh, the examples of the virtual accounts that match their tweets themselves, yes. did you learn from any data accounts that were kind of spotted using Twitter bot tweeting and related information? Uh, I haven't tracked their tweets yet, because it's what more, but I, I did uh, intersection a little bit more analysis you can see in the following slides. So about like uh, people who who bought that, and uh, also the statics of this fake account. So we will talk about this later. Yeah. So here I give a like an early report of selling fake following business. So you will see, assume someone can control like twenty thousand tweet followers or Twitter users. So the early from June fifth to sixth, the way to estimate them. So that w in that day, they uh, have uh, 91 more followers. Assume like uh, each of them uh, involved with the transaction, like some people buy like 20 thousand 20 uh, followers. So it's about like, let's say 20 bucks. So that means on that day, that guy, the guy who created this fake account, make $1,800 on that day. So I think right now people should try it. Create a botnet, <laughs> make eighteen hundred dollars a day, right? Put them good business, right? <laughs> and the average earning for this tw uh, twenty thousand users, like uh, we know, like uh, in that particular account, it takes seven weeks to reach two thousand followings. So that means, like in seven weeks, I'm gonna have a two thousand transaction. Each transaction maybe twenty bucks. So that's about eight hundred dollars per day in last seven weeks. So it's just our average estimation. So it could be more because it can just fall in more and drop a little bit. Or they could be less since maybe they just like uh, following some famous people, okay? But here I'm assuming like uh, each of the following involved with, involved with uh, a real transaction, like involved with just real people by these followers. 
like compared to the first guy for spam IP interest, like make about uh, nineteen hundred dollars a day, and on average maybe like thirty thousand dollars per month. So it's really comparable with them. And uh, I guess right up interest do have spam, but uh, they uh, have much more, like putting much more effort to stop it. But for Twitter, you can continue doing, like I just searched, like there's 58 websites selling uh, Twitter followers. So, <laughs> and there's some later problems, as I mentioned, there's 58 websites are doing that. There's also like 20 eBay accounts are selling Twitter followers. How do you compete with them? If you are the hacker, if you're the, the guy who created this fake account. There's a little problem, right? There's many competitors. Don't worry, this social media era. <laughs> so you can just promote yourself on Twitter, <laughs> even if there's a fake. <laughs> but still, you can promote yourself like this guy did, like I say, buy Twitter followers and Facebook pages he likes from buyfollows.in. So this guy just promoted himself on the website, on Twitter. Yeah, they do the retweet. That, that's a good hint. <laughs> exactly. I'm gonna talk. I have the last slides to talk about that problem. It's really interesting. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So let's say. Oh, uh, let's say some statistics about this fake Twitter follows this fake account. So the oldest one we we found is created on January 15. Uh, 2007, if you right now you have a cell phone, you can just check this guy, called K Reels. Uh, you see this guy have some tweets, have some followings, have a lot, to, uh, have uh, about 2,000 followings. And you can tweet some stuff. It, if you read the tweets, it's not like a, a, a spam or a fake account. It's tweet some, retweet some stuff. And the average of this, uh, like 61% of this fake account created last three months. And uh, the average age of this uh, fake account is about 19 weeks, about five months. So they're pretty new. Uh, that's also give us a hint like how fast Twitter can detect them. So that means our average maybe five months, Facebook, uh, Twitter can detect them, then stop them, suspend this account. But some of them, they can live much longer, like this, to some seven one, right? And some other uh, geographer uh, status, like US, like 37%, Canada, 36. And the 55 of them have around 2,000 followings. That means those, those accounts sold out. 2,000 followings, they don't do more. Uh, so that's it. So it's gonna create a much more fake account to get more business. And uh, average of them is like a 17.99, average number of followings. And it also tells you a hint, like uh, how, many people are how many people are buying them, right? So like I mentioned, like a this may be a Twitter policy, uh, although there's some rate limits in Twitter, but uh, I don't see an official number for Tucson, but uh, that's our guessing. Like if you are, if you don't follow more than two thousand, and you have very few uh, tweets and very few people follow you back, you can stay safe on d without being detected by Twitter. So that's a safe kind of safe number. Those people don't want to break their uh, that number. They want to continue this business. They continue selling fake followers. So they pretty much want to stay uh, undetected. And uh, like I mentioned, there's a f very few followers for this fake account since they are all robots, right? And some people, many of them don't tweet anything. It's like uh, a few tweets and nonsense tweets like from different directions. And none of them have, uh, nine percent of them have zero followers, 51 of them have less than five followers. On uh, average, like seven followers. So it's, it's a small number, right? Seven people follow them back. But if you aggregate all these seven numbers together for this 20,000 fake account, that's a still a big number. Right? People follow them back, okay, you know, maybe they have auto follow back policy, right? 
And these are most likely they are real people. So some people, some real people for each fake account, but you have like 20,000 fake account. So together, the total number of real people that follow all your fake account, still big. Those guys can still make a business out of it. Like I just mentioned, they can do retweets. That's a, they can do retweets, they can sell this, it's like another business. Not just following, uh, selling the fake account, uh, fake following, they can sell retweets. That still makes some impact, right? So, like I found, like some some guy I posted on the five R, like you you can read from here. I, think I can provide you manually to some retweets. It's manually, <laughs> but actually definitely some uh, some <laughs> some controlling, some uh, robot doing that. So just for five dollars, so five dollars is so cheap, right? No, they, they can just like uh, control this 20,000 card. They just like. Well, let's see. Seven posts. Are you seeing seven? No. No, no, no. So you have like a 20,000 fake accounts, right? It just asks all of them to tweet, retweet the same thing. So retweets. Yeah, they do retweets. The retweets still make impact since each of them have a few, like a seven followers. Seven reels one. So together, you still can deliver your message to a lot of people. So that's why it's worth $5, right? So, and this is one example, like this is a fake account. He, he, he doing some, uh, he's selling, probably doing retweets right now. It's called Phoenix SEO Expert, some website to promote. And you can see it's like a 1,600 retweets already. So it's, it's real. It's there. Some people already did that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the next question, like uh, we talk about the uh, fake followers and who brought these fake followers, right? I still answer some people's question, like who, who did that? And uh, so first, like how do we confirm it's a, uh, it's a bad account, like some people buy uh, the fake followers. And uh, one rule is like a, followed by many of my fake accounts. They identify many fake accounts, and then if that guy had her many followers from my fake pool, then probably that guy is paying money to buy this, buy them, right? And how many, right? It can be 10, 20, 100, sorry. Is there any safe number to do that? That's all guy. <laughs> Right, the, the Evans, so as I just mentioned. <laughs> so this is our guide to set up the threshold. <laughs> so for who don't know this guy, he's a number one security expert in the world. So he's no, number one, top one, okay? Nobody beats him, he's number one, just accept it. <laughs> so the thing is like, a, we find this guy, it's not like a for particular purpose, but just by occasion. We know the, uh, there's a post about it. this guy buying some Twitter followers like two months ago. And then we also have created three accounts. We have identified seven, se 70 certain fake account, right? So we just run through the list and see how many people in my fake account are following this guy. And uh, this is the list. <laughs> yes. There are about 470 people are following this guy, and also following of our, our setup account, like Honey Powder account. 400, 470, so about 500. That's a number, a safe number for us to put a line, say, okay, this guy are buying fake followers. Okay, I think that's pretty safe since he's the number one security guy, so I trust him. So. So this is the image. You can see many of them are the same image. I guess they, uh, they grew up somewhere, maybe from a database or somewhere on the internet. But uh, there are also some guy picture there, which very hard for you to identify. So not just girls, but also some guys. And this is another example, like uh, 
uh, by fake followers. I'm not sure he's, she's famous, but. And you can say she bought uh, fake followers for many different times. Not just once, but several times. So you see this jump? Most likely that, uh, she got some new followers, not new fake followers at that time. And also, like I mentioned, this is social media here, and who also use fake followers. So those people who sell fake followers, they also use to promote themselves. So like this guy, clear size, I can add up to 100K to 150K followers to your Twitter account. And uh, I definitely trust this guy since he already got like a 500, like close to 600,000 followers, right? Yes. Yeah, so basically, like uh, you can, make, let's say you buy 20K followers from them. This is pretty randomly, maybe wherever available in all his fake accounts to follow you, right? So that could be, uh, it's a big ratio, but still if you time 2,000, but it's number, that's really, really big. So you can get a lot, a lot of business without being exploded, right? Is that also your question? Okay. So, and also say so other Twitter follow exchange platform like this too, they are doing exchange, like if you follow them, you get some uh, coins, and also you can promote your website saying, if some people follow me, I give five coins back. So basically, just like a virtual money, so you can, you follow me, you get a benefit. I follow you, I get a benefit. So let's keep doing that, right? And this statistic is about who bought these fake followers. So the oldest one created on 2006. So that guy is like six years old, still want to get more followers. And uh, but on every age, like uh, 89 weeks, is like uh, about close to two years. So that means some people, it's. It's not a new guy who created an account and want to get back more followers. It's like you use Twitter for some time. You notice you, you want to get famous, and then you buy followers, right? And uh, like tw 23 of them have already 1 million followers. 100 of them have 500,000 fo followers. 500,000. So average, we call this guy cheaters, since they are cheating. So the average cheater has about 48,000 followers. The media is like 20,000, so probably most people just buy 20,000, which spend 20 bucks, that's it, right? And uh, the, this graph also tells us people who most likely cheat on Twitter. <laughs> so, Users who is like a four thousand or twenty six thousand followers most likely cheat. They take a uh, more than half percentage of uh, the distribution. And how active they are, like how many tweets they they're tweeting already. So median number is about eight hundred tweets. So they are not just uh, create a new account and buy followers. They already tweet a lot of stuff. And 50% uh, of them have less than about 800 tweets. 81% uh, of them have about around 6,000 tweets. OK, so one more statics that's very interesting is like 75% 70, of them have a URL in their tweet account. So this means like uh, when you buy fake followers, you have some website or you have some web page to promote. So most likely you promote something, it's just not buy follows for fun. You have a purpose. You spend money, you, you have to promote some business to earn their money back. Compared to like a 31% of a regular Twitter account. So one third people will have a URL in their Twitter account. Okay, sorry, let's pay. One more example, okay, we just added. So, Mitt Romney, which day is it, like a June, 
July 21, like a, a week ago. <laughs> you see that big jump? So, I mean, I would not trust leaders that buy fake followers, <laughs> right? If it's just doing cheating here, and who knows what you're going to do next in the four years. <laughs> yeah. Are you talking about these slides? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you should do this. <laughs> so we have some really bad idea. So, <laughs> so we know like a Twitter will suspend some cheater account, right? If if we, they identify you ban fake followers, they're gonna suspend your account. So if you really really hate someone, <laughs> so let's say you want to knock down your company competitors or you have some personal enemy. That's who use Twitter. You can just buy fake followers for them. <laughs> just spend a hundred bucks and buy a lot of followers and just ask them to deliver you one day, okay? <laughs> so there's no authentication. There's no like I mentioned here. You don't need anything else. You just need a Twitter handler. That's it. You don't need a password, right? Yeah. They don't verify your password. Some of them, they say they verify your password, but they are, they are fake, fake, <laughs> fan fake followers. <laughs> so, so you don't need to tell their password because they're just following you, right? So there's no extra step. So it's, it's impossible for you to identify who did that. So you buy some followers for them, and you report to the spam team, and they're going to suspend their account. <laughs> like you just mentioned, you want to school someone, just go ahead. <laughs> OK. Yeah. Yeah, same thing. So this is a really, really bad idea, OK? If you really, really hate someone, okay. <laughs> Otherwise, it's a bad idea. Don't do it. <laughs> Again, if you really, really hate someone. <laughs> so that's about a Twitter. So how about like fake fans for Google Plus, Pinterest, or Facebook, or Instagram? So there's a lot more websites, at least here, to, for you to shop in. Uh, and which one is much more expensive, at least? A table here, so you notice like a, the cheapest one is like YouTube for a thousand viewer, and Twitter a thousand followers, Facebook one thousand likes. So most of them are um, managed by a thousand, so it's like a magnitude a thousand. But uh, that's pretty good one is Pinterest is based on hundreds. So that means Pinterest is much more hard to to get or much more hard for people to create a fake account. And another thing is like it's much harder for people to do SEO on them, guys. So like LinkedIn, you can't do uh, much more like SEO, the ranking on Google, this kind of stuff. So that's why they sell selling much more expensive. Yes, that's right. <laughs> that's, that's why I mentioned like, if you really, really hate someone, <laughs> want to take someone down. But still, like the judge, he down he's still there. And Twitter knows it, I guess. Right? Other people know it. He hasn't been uh, suspended. So I'm not sure how effective that method <laughs> is. <laughs> So this is a press release for different kind of social media platforms. So take away the point for this story, since I still have two more. I'll be running really fast for that too. But here, if you want to buy Twitter follow, it's not a good idea. It's really embarrassing if you've been caught. And uh, if you really want to buy Twitter follow, it's just referring to our press list. <laughs> it's there, so you don't get fraud. You're spending much more money on that, right? So you know the price, the average price. And uh, if you want to do sell followers, if you really have a botnet to do that, and try some expensive ones like Instagram or Pinterest or LinkedIn. So they are much more worthy. And some pattern, if you want to identify if someone buys some fake followers, so there's if uh, you see some consecutive uh, followers have similar following and follows the numbers, so probably that guy is buying, maybe your friend is buying fake followers. You can use this strategy to identify them. And if it's also like some large 
uh, following and follows ratio. So, and check uh, Mitch Romney. You see a lot of his followers have empty image. Okay, I'm not sure he did that or his PR team did that, but whatever you can just check for fun. Oh, now, second story. I can run this really fast since. Uh, uh, we already have a very good infographic for this, like published in February. So fake uh, Facebook user and pages for spam purpose. And what can fake users do on Facebook when they create a, a account, so they can collect connections, like they can friend you, and later they can post spam on your feeds, and uh, they can also target spam uh, albums. And um, Create some promotion pages. This is like example of fake uh, profiles. So you see, if you see them individually, nobody notices this is a fake profile. So they go to college, they have a job, they have some interest, uh, they like music, so they have email address. So everything is real. But if you put them together, you notice it's fake. And I put them ID here. You can still check; they're still available on Facebook. And uh, all of them are posting some albums, have uh, exact the same image. It's like a shield, neck shield image. And they tag a lot of people, like basically all their friends, they tag in, in this album. The reason they post a lot of the uh, same image is because, it, let's say, they have 5,000 friends. You can't tag 5,000 friends in one picture. You have to do in many, many pictures. They are promoting some website that's selling the fixed shoes. Uh, look like this page. This is a page of this website. It's like a template, uh, pretty much similar. And how we collect them, we just uh, search some keywords in the Facebook public search, and then we find some post, and then go to their post, to go to those profiles for posting this post. And uh, then keep finding where, uh, who tagged them. So we grow this pool, like who tag them, we collect them, put them in the pool, who tag them again, and then we just keep growing the nets, and uh, we find uh, about 600 fake users and 700 fake pages. I'll show some highlights here for the infographic. Still see a lot of pictures have the same image, not exactly the same, you see the first of all, it's different pose in the same room. So like 97% of them identify themselves as female. Of course, females, you put a, they put a sexy picture there, attract, attract more friends. And uh, they interested both men and women. <laughs> so like 58% of them is really both, like 10 times more than regular people. And they claim they go to college more than regular people since you, they can spam their uh, college network. And the average number of friends for them, actually these two, inter, uh, two features of work very well, since they have much more friends than regular people, 700 friends. And they target more, like I mentioned, they, they have purpose, so they target more people. Like 100 times more than you tag your photo. Uh, we created some machine learning uh, algorithm to identify uh, the fake followers. We collect the data and then uh, use a cl classification algorithm, like a BS, some simple Bayes, uh, to identify. And then like, give a new profile, I can tell it's fake or real. Like I mentioned, this website, uh, this fake account that promoted this web page and then been seized by the Homeland Security like a few months ago. No, uh, oh no, the, for this particular web, uh, uh, website, they're selling neck shields, but it's fake. Many people complain. Yeah. They buy shields from them, and it's actually fake. They don't actually yeah. Yeah. So take. Yeah. <laughs> Take a real point do doing bad shields from Facebook pages. Just move your eyes and go to a stall. 
Uh, and those sexy chicks, they're not your Facebook friends, okay? <laughs> they're just robots. So we have and get a life. So the final one is the adding game campaign. We notice a lot of people doing uh, adding games, which is nonsense, meaningless game, like a, saying you like this post, like this page, and you put a comment. Whoever else like your comments or like your like, you're going to add them as friends. So we see a lot of them, a lot of people create uh, a page called adding game. So they just keep posting the same story, like follow these instructions, comments, and uh, they can like the comments, and then whoever, uh, like other people like your post, you're going to friend them. So they are also like promoting for some either Twitter account or web page, or like kind of like buy more followers. So sorry, I kind of ran uh, out of time, but uh, can show some uh, statistics. Top three are categorized as this fake uh, page, uh, this adding game pages. And uh, on average, the how many likes they, they get for this page. And most of them were created in January and to May uh, this year. So basically, they were, this page will get a lot of likes. And later, they can do whatever, like promoting a website or whatever they like. But all the pages contain the same story, just adding game, they just do it like a, some of them are doing every hour, just post the same story. And this is a picture of them, still sexy chicks. And uh, what if, like, like I mentioned, what if they, after they get the elbow collection, after they, like a certain people like their page, they can sell it. Uh, for example, this is a, such a website and find some people selling their page. So they basically get a certain fine page, like 30 pages with a certain uh, likes. So each of them like 15 bucks. You can contact him, like write down uh, the names, Skype names, you can just contact him. He got like 30 pages already. And uh, this guy have much more likes. And uh, they even selling posts to like in the bottom, I'm not sure you can read it, like a $15 per post and $20 for image share. And we did find uh, this guy selling an image share, which is a social, engine, social engineering uh, spam, scam. So like the, the, if you click the link, you're gonna go to a, a phishing Facebook web page. And uh, it's like a Chrome extension. But within the code, it's called contact me, ask F words, FB. So it's very classic hacker way to write code, right? <laughs> and uh, who like your page? Like uh, you have many likes, and do you know who like your page? Uh, unfortunately, there's no uh, API for you to easily to get uh, the list of people who like your page. So on one way, it's protect regular users, but on the other way, it also prof protect these fake profiles because nobody knows it until, uh, unless Facebook. Or until you ask everybody, do you like my page? Do you like my page? Uh, one billion users for Facebook? Okay, go ahead and ask. So, that's about it. So take away part for this story is like be adults don't follow these games to gain more friends, and don't buy a fake, a fake, fake Facebook fan page, and uh, since most of them with robots, and don't get tricked uh, by the social media. Like everybody knows that. Like don't click a link until you're very sure where it goes to, and especially for like button. Pay special attention. Finally, the summary for Facebook, and uh, it's like the point is like creating a fake identity, a click, creating a fake account on Facebook. It's making money, maybe not for you, but for Facebook at least, since most of our social engine, uh, platform are valued by the number of active users on their platform, right? For Twitter, so like I mentioned, the highest uh, sales can 
reached to 1800 dollars a day and all these chains like all i mentioned today like about fake identity on the social platform is fundamentally dis destroy the trust model right you like me i, li I like you exchange the, uh, the value or you buy some fake followers so it just fundamentally destroy the trust model dis destroys the real relationship between people in this society it's just all about the money if they keep growing then maybe i don't know 10 percent 20 percent of this relationship are fake or based on money so either you want to join this business right eight hundred dollars a day <laughs> or you want to step up to stop it so just telling people with uh just check your friend to see if they are buying fake followers and then give some warnings or you if you cannot defeat them everybody just join that business okay <laughs> eight hundred dollars a day okay <laughs> right so so how about it? how to control this sort of tweet or fake account uh that's what be on your in our future talk about more tech stuff so how to control them there's some hole to to do that but uh, follow us by the networks and then check our website and uh, to see my story and uh, one more last thing like we have a free uh, social profile scan card profile protector so you can just subscribe you can uh, install and you can scan your profile and see some malicious links it's free that's it thank you everybody <laughs> all right uh, thank you got a question Yes. Do you actually post any URLs to track the traffic that you see in the network? Uh, no. 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 It's like a, this fake account not controlled by, uh, by me. Oh, okay. It's just like a, we brought them. We, we pay money and bought them. Like, it's just, they just follow us. That's it. Yeah, yeah, that they, that they have uh, some follow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's their uh, permission to post something or do anything. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, pretty much fake, yes. Because uh, people who ask a question, I can give a t-shirt, right? OK. Yes? Uh, right now, like, uh, we're just tracking them, yeah. Huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Any more? Uh, anybody want more T-shirt? I'm left-handed, so. <laughs> yeah.